Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you this tool that you can use to create awesome designs and edit your work. All right, so I'm going to try and log in. There are different ways, of course, to log in. Um, I'm going to try to use the email. Okay, so I just signed in using my email address. Right, so this tool is very, very powerful. Let me go back. Let's go back. You can use it to create designs. You can use it to also generate images. All right, so um, let's see here yeah. all right so let's see here let's begin by putting something here let's type i want to copy and paste this prompt so you see what i'm going talking about all right so this prompt is for a design let me remove this layout okay it's for a design so let's eat the go i've just clicked the send button all right so it's loading it's loading so this tool is called Robot Neo is a very amazing tool. All right, see what it's saying right here. Say, I will create a vibrant modern flyer for the Orimon sand pad with a specific classified element and visual style. Let me work on that for you. It's thinking now. The thing about this is that it's going to create the design for you. All right, and you'll be able to edit the design. You'll be able to um, work adjust the design. So it's going to create a modern flyer for Orimon sand pad, and it's working on it right now. Now you can see that it's fast. It's fifty percent already. Now when it's out, you're going to see the result. It's loading. It's loading. It's loading. So this tool can be used to generate your images. It can be used for quite a number of things as we're going to be trying them in this particular video. Please do wait to like it and share it. All right, so it's 100% already. So let's see the result. Let's see the result. It's loading. Mad. Now, this is the result. I can see here two designs. All right, so it gave me two designs. This one. All right. So let's check. Let's zoom in. So this is this one. All right. So we can actually increase it if we want to, or we can reduce it. Like we can adjust it like this. So I want to move it here. All right. I want to move this guy here. All right. So you can see that now. So I'm moving this one here so that I can adjust it very well. You can see the, the old design is ready. <laughs> the old design, feel the beat, leave the sound. So I you want to change maybe something here. Okay, so let's put it here so once you click on any design you're going to see options that will pop up once you click on any design you're going to see options that will pop up so you'll see ai editing you'll see cutters you see replace uh, replace text and all that so let me click on replace text for example and um enter the text example hello what do you want to replace so uh, let's say i want to change the uh fill the what's that fill the fill the beat leave the sound i want to change sound to uh, okay let's say get yours today get change get yours today to get yours now okay so let's let's just type get yours now all right so let's see okay let's select the area all right so okay see i selected the area that i want to change so i've clicked on confirm and allow it to do its magic so it's working on it now it's working on it now so i'm trying to reduce it so let me reduce it from here you can see it's working on it now i just applied a change in the flyer and so it's working on it now now take note that you have free credits if you can see this place here the corner here the two files are being updated you can see that that corner here that is this top corner here you can see that you have some credits so be mindful of how you use them because once it's expired that means you will have to come back tomorrow or sign in with another email address all right as you can see right now i have edited the text if you check very well now you'll see that the text has changed look at it now it's not showing get yours now i see that now so you can see how that can be edited so let's try another another um, prompt let's try another prompt so this prompt all right so where we have new shot we're going to click on it new shot at the top top left corner so i'm going to type on new shot so let's come here shot with so you see that place where you, when you say shot we're going to type the prompt everything there all right then we we'll send so after you type your shot you send and it starts working on the flyer immediately all right so this is just using it to create flyers so it's thinking 
so it's currently at 100 percent now so it's doing the finishing work now this is it this is this is very very beautiful you can see that two designs were was created two designs look at it it usually give you two um variation so you can choose so what i'm going to do right now i'm going to put this one at the top and i mean i'll see you can see it then i'll put this one at the bottom here you can see that you see how her line this thing is all right so let's zoom it so that we see it very well look at it look at the designs that was created using this particular guy you can see how slick and how script how beautiful this design is everything in place you can see the alignment everything properly aligned like i said if you want to change or adjust this you can actually adjust and you can see all these options here edit uh ai extend extend i want to extend the design uh, ai remove i want to remove something you can cut out you can replace it you can crop and all that isn't it, isn't this beautiful all right so that is number one how we can actually use this to create design you just put your prompt the full prompt you want to, you want to create put it put the style put the, the 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 size and everything and it create put the colors and everything it's going to create it for you very beautiful all right so let's try another something all right so that's that so let's look on new shot and let's look for and let's look for okay so let's let's leave here i think we're going to go back now to um what is that let's click on let's go back to the home page because i want to add an image and give it a prompt all right so i'm going to add this image right here all right so i'm adding the image now i'm going to say restore so i want to use it to restore old photos restore this photo to original colors all right don't change the faces or l style restore broken parts and make it modern and professional all right so i just added a prompt okay so you can actually add more prompts so i just added a prompt i'm going to click on send here and we're going to wait and see the magic so it usually takes a little time to think and create your um give you your result you can see it's, it's coming up already so it's thinking so let's see what will happen at the end of the day it's crazy i'm going to go restore color professionally while keeping all facial feature intact let me work on that for you see this is the beautiful thing about ai it helps you save time all right it helps you save time ai does not come to collect your job AI makes your work more easier all right so you can see something notice something here that the face the face was if you notice what well, the face was still damaged you can see and the face is still damaged here so it's working on that they say i'll repair any damaged area and before to give it more the blah 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 it's working on that but you notice that the image i've left just um the normal color to this and it's working on it already so this is a beautiful thing about this ai it can help you to repair your photos it can even help you to generate images all right it can help you to um, design the flyer the promotional flyer notice that while i'm doing all this thing my credit is going down all right so notice that beautiful now take a look at the last or the final result take a look at the final result they say mission accomplished <laughs> indeed look at this look at this can you can you just see this can you see this now look at the original picture that i uploaded you can see how damaged it is now look at the final inputs you can see how sharp it came, came out once you want to download you just click on it and you download your image you can see that now look at it so it, 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 it transformed the image from this all right from this to this from this to this look at it all right so that is that so we have demonstrated how we can actually use it to transform your images so let's go to one more thing before we call it all right so we're back here again so what we want to do right now is to tell this guy to help us to create a full brand identity design you know ai does not take a job ai only comes to make your job better okay so but let's see what it can do for us so i'm going to create i'm going to paste the prompt all right i've pasted the prompt all right for a complete brand identity design for a real estate company called retos all right i'm going to i'm going to i'm going to click enter here click enter so after clicking enter you see that the job has started it's going to take some time to create everything it's going to create for me the following deliveries the logo it's going to create a color palette it's going to create a typography it's going to create a business card it's going to create um a letter head or envelope design social media kits it's going to create the brand patterns or texture and then some mock-ups so let's see if this particular ai is going to give us the result exactly as we want it remember it's a full brand identity design so perhaps it might take some time so but let's watch let's watch it's thinking it's going to help me to create a premium and professional brand identity for Ritos focusing on trust class model excellent and let us work on it so it's working on it right now the first thing we want to create now is to generate a logo design for the brand so that's the first thing we want to create now and working on it already so you see this helps you to generate your ideas now ai doesn't come to take your job ai doesn't ai is 
it's like an assistant it makes your job easy it makes your job faster it makes your job better all right it's it makes your job more efficient it doesn't come actually to take your job so we are waiting now for this particular ai tool to create a real estate brand identity design remember the first one was a flyer we generated a flyer the second one we restore an old image and you saw the result very very well now please like this video like the video like it share it man this is mad this is mad now you have created the, the, the logo now it's going on to create a second logo option now it's not giving all just one option it's creating two options all right and it's doing it right right now you can see on your screen right now please like this video and share it this this tool is so crazy all right and guess what i'm using it for free but remember that <laughs> i have a limit a limited credit so let's see so it's creating it's creating so like this video share it share it share it tell me what you think about it this is awesome for me this is very very amazing it doesn't come to steal your job and guess what you can actually edit these things you can edit it. you can even export it as a you can export the layer even to, to photoshop all right now you can see the other one i've created let's see you can see this is the other one i've created i can see it's arranging it properly all right it's not scattering it in up or down it's ar arranging it properly all right so the two options say here are two design options which one do you prefer it's asking me <laughs> so uh it's looking for my response so i'm going to say i choose the first one all right i choose the first one i'm going to continue so if i continue you know when you are working with, for a client as a brand identity design you have to give the option um the client's options so when you give the client options maybe one or two options or three options as the case may be for this one it gave me two options then when you give the client two options that's the draft the logo draft the client will have to choose one it is the one that the client should that you now proceed with to work on the color palette the the, the mock-up the typography because you can't work on all those food those things takes time it's very time consuming so by the time you want to proceed you can't proceed using the two options or three options no you will have to give your clients a draft first after you have done your sketch, your research, your motherboard, everything, you give your client sketch or sorry, a, a draft, the first draft, which contain going to contain two designs or three designs. The client is going to choose from your from the draft. It is when the client says, okay, I'm good to go with this one, then you can proceed. Now you can proceed to do the other brand identities, like the color palettes. You can proceed to do the typography that complements your brand. All right. You can see right now it has produced for us this a, a, a business card. You can see it on your screen right now. It have, it's now it's going to create now the letter head this is an amazing so i'm telling you the truth so like this video share it if you are getting value share it and you can explore this tool all by yourself so i'm waiting for you to create all the the, the brand identity and i'm going to show you you can see the letter a that we created you can see you can see the letter a that we created so let me zoom it will create everything everything all right so the mission will be completed <laughs> this is amazing the mission will be completed now let me collapse this so that you can see you can see your screen look at this this is the last one he created the mock-ups look at the mock-ups just look at it on your screen you can see it look at the mock-ups so let me zoom in let me zoom it let me zoom it so this is the last mock-up that it created. I want to zoom it very well so that you see it. You can see, you can see the mock-up it created. All right. So let me zoom it to fit so that you see all the designs that was created. The first one was the logo, all right, which you see here. This one. The second one was this. The, the other vari vari variation. Then this one is the complementary card. This one is the letter head. This one is also like a mock-up, a pattern. Then this one is the pattern. This one is the mock-up. A complete brand identity design done with using AI. And guess what? If I click on export now. I can export it as a PNG, I can export it as a JPEG, and I can export it as a uh, SV, sorry, SVG. All right, different options you can use, and this is very, very beautiful. So let's try PNG for example. If you click on PNG, click on confirm, and instantly your work will be downloaded. So this is it. This is the mockup. This is the mockup. This is the mockup that was created using the that AI. So anything you touch like this. Anything you touch, you can export it. So if I touch this one now, I can export it. Is that okay? So that's very, very beautiful. So do it to like this video. And so let's do one more demonstration. All right, so for the last one, for the demonstration in this video, we're going to create a character. And we're going to maintain that character, all right? So let's create a character. So my 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 unit my, is almost finished. So let's create a character. So we're going to create a character. This character is Aria. Um, sorry, I think I made a mistake there. So let's, let me, this character is, a, is a, an hero called area all right so let's click create so let's see now it's going to create a character for us all right so that character we're going to give other prompts to do other things with that character all right and we're going to check whether that character is going to change so what we're checking now is character consistency so let's wait for it to create a character for us all right so this guy have created for us this character called Aria. Now, Aria is a very wonderful superhero. Now, now that I have created this character for us, called Aria. So, what are we going to do with this Aria? We're going to give. It's still doing. It's still enhancing the um, um, AI. The the. It's, it's still enhancing Aria. So, it gave us this. So, let me let me zoom in like this. So, look at the final result. You can see this character I gave to us, and it's still doing some more polishing. But I don't want to do many many. <laughs> I just want to tell it to to do something with the character. All right. So, let's say we want to. 
so it has shown mission accomplished so all the all the characters have been created so let me collapse this and then you see all the characters you can see you can see you can see so remember when you want to export and you just touch it like this and then you click on um, export all right but see what i want to do right now now that you have created this guy this uh, i want to say using the character you created place it place r in a space ship all right so i don't want to do much i just want to say place i in a place uh, space ship so now let's see whether the result is going to be consistent with the character that was created all right so we're checking for character consistency so for example you carry an image and upload it to this website and you tell this website to do something with the image maybe to make the to give you different um emotion all right different facial expressions of the image it's going to give it to you if the character consistency is 100 percent or at least 95 percent right so that's what's going to do for us now and after that i'll call it a day please like this video and share it because this is going to really be it's a game changer it's a game changer ai i'm going to be sharing with you so many ai tools that you're going to be using and if you check around this video in the description also you will see that there's a course that you can take on my channel so go to my youtube channel go to the courses you'll see courses after playlist you see courses go to the courses the after playlist so when you go to courses you'll see some courses that are already made ready for you so in one of those courses you'll see ai all right so that is after playlist no so before playlist after podcast you see playlist so when you go to playlist the first one you're going to see right there is ai image generation so when you click on it you're going to see two you'll see one of them that has one is a playlist one no not a playlist go to courses you'll see ai image generation so you click on it and then you'll be able to assess about 14 or 13 videos on ai enjoy all of them like the video subscribe to this channel and the other channel attached to this one channel and the other channels in my home page all right you're going to really enjoy it so let's see let's see man now look at the face look at the face the face did not change look at it the face did not change look at the original face here it's still loading so let's wait for it all right i think we're done you can see this is the final results all right as the final results so if i bring this guy here you'll see it very well you can see how beautiful it is let me increase it touch and increase you can see that the character the it was consistent all right it did not change all right it didn't change you can see the face everything did not change so I mean this 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 is going to be a game changer for us look at the faces nothing changed all right very very beautiful so did you get value from this video yes if you got value please do it to like this video share it with a friend and subscribe to my youtube channel all right and tell me what you think about this tool i just revealed to you right now and i will be in the comment reading what you have to say thank you so much for watching to this time my name is niamud and i will see you